the next video you see is that this has been put through his paces. It's not happened. Um, the last four days have been nothing but rain. And everything I film, I film on my uh, laptop. So it's uh, I wasn't taking my laptop out, sticking on the roof of the car and filming from my laptop. So what we're going to do instead, I'm going to talk you through where you can get the cheapest parts to build your own uh, repeating pistol crossbow, convert the one you've got, or your cheapest options. If you've already got an SAS Prophecy or a Cobra pistol bow, I don't see the logic of going out and buying another one. But there's a 50-50 for and against. Um, the reason being is, if you've still got the basic pistol bow, you haven't got your under rail fitted, um, you've still got the 50 pound bow limbs, um, you haven't got a stock adapter, you haven't got none of the stuff, you've got a basic pistol pro uh, prophecy, it's a good base to start with. And if you don't have a lot of money, a lot of the things you make yourself, the stock, you can make yourself from wood, um, you finish the grips with wood, there's only two screws to fit the Picatinny on the front, and hand grip, you can pick up pretty much from anywhere. And if you're still using the 50 pound bowling, you don't need um, the extra grip underneath to make it um, more leverageable. That's the first thing. The second thing, if you're coming in fresh, um, I know I just say this because I sell parts of Mankung, Mankung Alligator. The basic chassis is exactly the same as the um, Steamboat, it's it made by Po Lang. So, they're coming for a basic. If you haven't already got a pistol crossbow, um, one of these types, come in straight and go for a Poulang, uh, a Mankung alligator. That's tip number one. Tip two, careful you select your magazine. Now this is the first magazine I had in. I've already had to repair it here. Bring it in the camera. It's snapped on the front here. So I've araldated, reinforced it, put a big washer, nut and bolt to make it stronger. It's a bad design, made with a cheap plastic. So I'll be having another one coming in from Germany um, to do a comparison test of the two. So that's the biggest thing, is the cost of the magazine. The pistol bow you can pick up for about um, $40, 40 quid. The um, sock you can pick up for about 20 pounds on eBay or print it yourself. The quiver. You can get from uh, Mike and Mike, Weapon Collector. Um, excellent, only um, £12, about $15. The sights now you can pick up wherever you can get them cheapest. Um, but let's go through the prices all together. So I say um, $40 for the pistol, 20 quid for the stock, so that's $60. Quiver, $15, so that's $75. A grip, $10, that's $85. Magazine is going to be your most expensive, it's going to be over $100, so you're $175. Picatinny rail upgrade on the top, tenner, so that's $185. Um, sites, you can fit whichever ones you want. I got about 100 quid worth on here. Um, and of course I got the, the genuine Steambow Pro 90 pound bowling, which requires modification on the front. Now the alligator comes as standard with a genuine 80 pound prod. Um, I haven't been able to test it yet, but on leverage, um, to operate the 90 pound prod using the hand is extremely painful on the hand using the ball. You do need the extra leverage of the stock for the 90 pound prod. Um, you could just about get away with the, the 80 pound, but I don't think you will the 90 pound, because it really does, it has nothing to do with the arm strength, it's where it digs into your hand. So you've got the, the ball on the end. If you've got a later one, like a red back, you can also get these stock upgrades for the red backs. Um, and the Horizon, or Horizon, um, again, is a great upgrade. If you can't afford to go all, all out for a top end, custom made, um, manufacturers made, uh, multi-shot pistol crossbow, this is still the cheapest way to do it. Just buy, buy the parts as you need them, or is the upgrading. Now what I'll do, I'll put a list below of the, the parts which are available and um, what uh, where you, you can get them from uh, on eBay. The 
I'm sure the stock is from eBay. The uh, arrow quiver is from Coffee, my weapon collector. Full grip is from me, it's from Mang Kung. Um, the bow limbs are from Steamboat for the £90. And these are a, a uh, generic uh, Chinese um, sighting systems. Um, usually they're made by what they branded as Walther and things like this, but they actually come out of the Chinese factories. Um, just like just like uh, just about everything these days. So even if you're paying 150, 160 pounds for a red dot site, which you can do quite easily from um, Bosch and Lom or something like that, chances are it's going to be exactly the same, 25 pound um, internals as a site from uh, one of the Chinese suppliers. So the old days of where the brand names was king, I've never been a fan of brand names. Um, I don't buy into the old thing. Um, good example here. This is one that, one I got coming up for a show. This is the Man Kung. Uh, what we got? XB fifty two. Brand new. This is the one we got coming up for a show. Now this is also sold under various names and more expensive, such as uh, a Center Point. Um, and a few other brands, um, Anglo Arms, and also, let me think, I believe it's Velocity as well, because the sister bow, the MK400, which I just done a video on, is also sold as the MK4, um, MK400, Velocity Armageddon, uh, Anglo Arms Legend, and a few other names. A few different colour stocks on, some are different razor. Some are different uh, trigger linkage, remote trigger linkage, but the bow is still the same bow. And that's how I get up with this. Although it's, this is the um, a DIY version, my version, um, it is still a Polang pistol bow. This one was made by um, EK Archery. You've got the, the EK badge on there, but it'll be the same whether it's a, a Mang Kung or whatever. They come from the Polang factory in China. Um, so one of the things you need to do when you're thinking of when you're upgrading your pistol bow is prioritize what you want to do with your pistol bow. Um, for me, I wanted just to see what was capable with a pistol bow. Um, and so far, where I can see it, um, it doesn't look as pretty on the stock as the uh, the steam bow. But it's still functional, um, which is where you want. Things I would improve, you could use this for magazine storage in here. Storing uh, bow tips and things like this. Um, spare strings, um, survival kit you could store in here. I look at how I can put a riser on here, because for my cheek as well, when it's in, to get that consistency, which I like because I'm a, a rifle shooter, I can't get my face on the cheek. I can't get the consistency. The crosshairs, the alignment is good with the crosshairs. I can see where I am with the crosshairs. But I'm, for me, I'm too far. So I'm going to make some sort of riser for my cheek. Make sure the laser's off. Right, that's off. Now, we're going to look at the other things, other things as well. If you want to use heavier bolts, should have picked up the others from over there. Um, it's possible with my bolts, Celtic crossbows, um, to still use them. Although they don't fit in the magazine, they're too long. You can still just put them through the front. That's against the, the string in there now. Again, resting against the string here. I ain't gonna cock it because I'm indoors. So you just slide them in through the front, just the same. The same with my Hornet bolts. So you just slide them through the front. And you fire each shot individually. But you just do a show from this end, it will just drop down enough. It's free enough flowing to just drop straight in. So, if you do fit a pistol bow magazine, you can still use custom bolts with it. If you want to use my fishing bolts, um, that's on another video, they extend out far enough so the nose is proud of your magazine, and you can still tie off your fishing line, and you can still use your uh, fishing line uh, on your loadout 
without ch changing the rest of it. So you might or might not notice I've removed the safety catch. Um, that's for speed loading. Speed loader, um, the safety catch was just uh, slow, slowing you down on the shock count. But um, so yeah, this is how you save yourself an easy hundred, hundred and fifty dollars just by sh by shopping wise, shopping smart. If you're friends with with a three D printer, um, and I can save yourself some bucks. I myself, I, like always, this is why I go off the MK400 Mankung. It's an all steel construction, same as this, apart from the magazine, which I hate. It's an all steel construction, but it does the job. Um, if I could uh, find a, an alloy magazine to replace it, I will. Now, coming out from Gogan in the new year, uh, we believe March time there is a 12 shot magazine coming out for the pistol crossbows It is designed for the prophecy and the Cobra range of original pistol crossbows Not the new ones like the R9s etc or the adders won't fit those it will fit these definitely Got George's word Joke's word on it. So in the new year, there's a new 12 shot magazine coming out for your old pistol crossbows so, having this, this, this is already broken on me once, even before I go out in the field to try it. Super not impressed. In fact, I think it's uh, a load of shit. Um, I will be getting one of the new Seal magazines in to test it for the show. Uh, well, what more can I tell you? Um, a couple of things I'd improve. This needs to be replaced with steel, the trigger. Um, is insufficient leverage on the back of the sear with a 90 pound bow. It does slightly pull you off target. So you need to compensate for it when you're uh, shooting. Um, the grips still feel nice. Um, need a higher cheek piece. So that's another modification. And because it's been modified as well to take the 90 pound limb, if you've got no intention going to 90 pound, stick with your 80 pound or 55 pound prod because once it's converted, you can't go back and you will not get many shots out of this with a 90 pound prod because it hurts your hand. If you see my video from the other day, you will see the big red area on my hand from there and I was from four shots and it hurt. I couldn't manage a fifth shot. It just hurt too much. Um, you need to wear a glove or something like that just to pad your hand to stop it from hurting. So you really do need the... the Stock extension on if you've got a 90 pound limb. George is right. Um, okay, I think that's all I've got to tell you so far. Listen, until I get outside and test it and the rain stops, it said it had been raining for four days, um, we'll be able to then evaluate further. Um, but thanks, guys. Um, thanks, my new subscribers. Hey, Phil, he's my latest one. Um, pleasure to have you on board. Um, I think next we're going to be doing um, MK400 or possibly um, an update on uh, the slingshot restorations. I, I don't know yet. Take care, guys. Good night. Stay safe.